All right, Pisces, Aries. What's going on, guys? Oh, hello. This reading be for my Pisces, Aries, cusp babies. If it resonates, take it. If not, leave it. You guys know the drill for the rest. If you're new here, I think we might hang out and stuff. You know, with my vibe. You want to come back more often? Subscribe button the notification bell if you're returning. Welcome back. Thanks for coming by. I have opened the comments back up, so... Hmm. Feel free to leave a comment as long as you're not being a jerk. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. I'm just going to get right into this because the cards are saying just get right into it. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And once again, if it's not yours, leave it on the table. Time and energy are both fluid, all that happy jazz. Their cross-watcher up in here. Okay. I feel like those need to be read together. Your cross watcher up in here props to you for knowing that the person of significance that you're dealing with, their birthday sits on a cusp. Some people don't even know what a cusp is. And if you're going to these links to try to figure it out, I'm just going to say one thing. That is a volatile mix. It is. That is two signs with a hot button. And when they're a cusp baby, ooh, that's a hot button. You don't want to hit that hot button. No, you don't. Mm. Pisces are known for very tempered emotions. Aries, not so much. Aries. They're quick to get angry, but they're also quick to forgive. So. All right, give me one more. What's coming up? One more. What's coming up? Okay. A lot of red together. Oh, well. Okay. Huh. All right, all right. All right, all right. What happened? Justice at the bottom of the deck. Fated event, friends. That's the universe's mighty sword coming down to... Oh, hi. You might be significant. That wasn't an accident. We're going to leave you there. That's the mighty sword of justice coming down to level some scales. could be a feud over a child for some of you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. All right. Devil strength. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Leo. I also have Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Aries. Ten of Wands reversed. You're holding back from getting something off your chest. You are tied to something. Could be potentially something toxic. Possibly a little bit of obsessive behavior going on. You got a monkey on your back you can't shake. Talk to me. Three coins reverse, four coins reverse. That was a shutout. 
something didn't build. You had to let it go. You're trying to let it go and can't, maybe. Three of Swords. I see three of threes. This could very well be a third party situation. Something's got to get cut out. Hanged man. Hanged man into death. Processing a broken heart, going into the unknown, accepting the fate of a situation, allowing something to close. It's coming. The closeout's coming. You just need to gain perspective. I know it's hard to gain perspective when you have unanswered questions. There's things you are not meant to know. Sometimes things just are. I know it's a hard thing to... I just realized I didn't tip the camera down. Oh my gosh, guys. I gotta start doing this live so somebody can be like, Hey, yo, woman, tip the camera down. All right, give me one more on that. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Yeah. There's that Queen of Swords again. Gaining logical perspective. Thoughtful decisions, mighty swords coming down, cutting people out. There's another sword. Talk to me about that Knight of Swords. It's that Knight of Swords. Somebody's fighting an internal battle here. About whether or not somebody needs to be cut out. Could be external people involved too. Hermit wheel. Communication, possibly communicating that you need time to heal. We now have Pisces Virgo on the board. One more on that Hermit, thank you. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. You need to think. Okay. Either you need to think or somebody's going to come in to let you know that they needed time. That they were very much in their head and they needed to come out of their head. Give me one more. Somebody's speaking truth about needing to come out of their head. Feels like the person you're dealing with. Either way... Place yourself where you see fit, guys. Energy's fluid. Talk to me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Talk to me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Oh. Just throwing that out there. Somebody could be pregnant. Doesn't necessarily have to be. The picture is taken, but not leave it on the table. This could be an offer, wanting something to grow, someone figuring out what they finally figuring out what they want and communicating it. Slow and steady wins the race. Four swords reverse to the five of swords reverse. Somebody's restless. Feeling defeated. Could have been a baby mama, baby daddy involved in the mix somewhere. It's the third party crap again. King of Wands reversed, Page of Wands reversed. <coughs> wow. All right, somebody's going to come back in wanting to settle up, wanting to make an offer. And somebody else is going to be like, this is where you can shove your offer because you've screwed with my head enough. That's what that feels like. And this is why this all happened. 
Emperor reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, Eight of Cups. Why the Emperor reversed? It feels like vulnerability. Somebody was at a vulnerable moment. Things may have been out of control. Talk to me about the Emperor reversed. time. I need time to come to that stable place. I need time to come to that stable place. I'm vulnerable. Ten of coins to the ace of coins that tells me there could, could have been a home or a family involved. In the third party crap. I have to close out something before I can start something new. Strength reversed, hermit reversed. Somebody was drained. Somebody was drained and in their head. All right, okay. Queen of Cups reversed. Could have been the withdrawal of a cup. Could have been an emotional closing off. Could have been, I got nothing left to give. Talk to me. Seven of coins reversed. Eight of coins reversed. I got nothing left to give. I've run out of patience. I'm taking back my cup. I got nothing left to give. One more. The moon into the sun. You have left me with way too many un unanswered questions. I am going off to find my happiness. You left me at the dock long enough. I'm hopping on this boat. Mm. Five of wands into the six of wands. Popped off into a conflict. It's one of those conflicts where nobody ever really wins or loses. But it was a conflict nonetheless. Somebody left. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. K sorry, King of Swords to the Page of Swords. Logical, head over heart, non-emotional decision. Five of cups reversed to the six of cups reversed. Pre emotions never processed, left with bad blood. Swords reversed at Ace or Swords reversed is kind of left hanging out there. Four wands at the five wands at the bottom of the deck. Teetery, teetery, teetery. All right, five of wands, Hierophant, nine of cups. That feels so life lesson. Outcome. Why the five of wands? Why the five of wands? Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords. It's a confrontation. There's that Knight of Swords again. Very much on the defensive. This does not have to be a conflict. Choose your words. And choose them wisely. Stand your ground. It does not have to pop off into a conflict. An honest conversation 
does not have to come to blows, be them physical or verbal. It does not have to be below the belt. It doesn't have to be below the belt if you use your head and choose your words wisely. How about that? You guys know what I'm saying? Why the Hierophant? The Hierophant, he marries people. He's also the teacher of important life lessons. Could be counseling. The Devil in the Tower. Two of swords into the three of swords. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices that break people's hearts. And they are not easy choices to make. Sometimes we have to disconnect from toxic things and toxic people and toxic situations. And it is heartbreaking and it is not an easy choice to make. But sometimes you have to let the tower fall to get to your happy place. It's... <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with self-preservation. There isn't. Why the Nine of Cups? The King of Cups into the Page of Cups. Poker faced apology. Maintain your emotional composure. Maintain your emotional composure. Wasn't I just saying that this is like one of the most volatile cusps? You must maintain your emotional composure. Five of swords to the six of swords. And the hierophant into the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is a very powerful connection. I believe this was a powerful connection that came into your life for a reason and a purpose. And I believe that reason and that purpose is to teach you emotional composure. It is okay to practice healthy selflessness. It is okay to say enough is enough. And it is okay to move on from something that is not good for you. It is okay. Don't ever let anybody tell you that it's not. But you have to maintain your emotional composure. New moonality. Commitment is being tested. <laughs> Communication is key. I think we're going to take them both. First quarter new moon, new moon in Gemini. First quarter moon. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true? Or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now 
will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the New Moon and Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself emails, text messages, and all forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. Most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Your wisdom. Never ending story number thirty seven. Three plus seven is ten. 10 is endings, so new things can begin. G, number 37. Self-criticism, wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Hmm, pop out for the conflict much? There's a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection, and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as the victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being, your true, se from being true to yourself. You are not your story. The and the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Okay, friends, my Pisces, Aries, Cusp babies, know that you are loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch you next month.